I think a driver and engineer relationship is one of the most important relationship that you have. They feed all the information to the crew chief to make the best possible decision. And Angela has come into this sport uh, with, with a great attitude, and she doesn't take any crap from any of the guys on the team. You know, I was a daddy's girl growing up, and I wanted to be just like him, and he liked racing, so I liked racing. And he loved Dale Earnhardt, so I loved Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> my mom had at one point stolen a bunch of my t-shirts because I wore them too often, and she hid them somewhere in the basement. And I found them like years later when I was a teenager. I was like, oh my gosh, here's <laughs> all my shirts. shirts. So what kind of led you into the engineering side of things? When I started getting older, and I guess in junior high, I really developed a passion for math, and I was really good at it. By the time I graduated, I knew I'm going to do a mechanical engineering program. I'm going to make that my path to race engineering. I didn't know Angela until the off season, and when my crew chief, Seth Barber, said, hey, we're going to uh, hire Angela as our lead race engineer. She's got some great experience. Uh, she comes highly recommended, and she's the number one candidate out there, and, and that's all I needed to know. The first time you sat on top of the pit box, you know, as an engineer for a cup team, what was that kind of moment like for you? I am like super non-emotional, and so... <laughs> Not a typical female. <laughs> no, no. Um, it was just like, yeah, I, I was meant to be here. This is where I'm supposed to be. And it was almost more calming than anything. David, your driver, has mm -hmm. said that he has no doubt that you will be a crew chief someday. Yeah, I it, hope so. That is the goal then for you? Yep. Yeah, I, I don't know how long down the road that is, but that's definitely my goal and what I've been working towards. Mm-hmm. He was very complimentary of your work ethic and stuff like that. He also said, though, you can get like pretty fired up with the, <laughs> the swear words sometimes. <laughs> the biggest thing that probably um, gets Angela mad or fired up is someone else not doing their job. And I think that she holds everybody to a high standard. When I feel like that, you know, I've made a mistake, you know, on the racetrack, she holds me accountable and that only makes me a better race car driver. Andrea Mueller is one of the other only female engineers on the cup side. How important do you think it is just to see more females coming into these types of roles and, and yourself kind of being an inspiration for that for others? I hope that it makes it seem more attainable because it is. There's not anything that makes a guy better at this job than a girl or vice versa, you know. And I hope that there's women out there who are passionate about racing and see me and see Andrea up there making the calls during practice and during the race. What do you think that would mean for the, the whole sport, really, if we saw a female lead engineer or crew chief win that first cup race? I hope that I'm part of that story, like that we're coming at it from all angles. It's not just the drivers, but we've got really good engineers too. We've got hopefully a crew chief soon. I guess it just gives credibility more than anything. And part of making yourself credible and the whole reason that we're here is to win. And so until you've done that, I don't think we've really succeeded. So that's what I want and I'm not gonna stop until I get there.